Hi, and welcome to my demo. Today I'm going to be showing you the performance diagnostic solution, which is part of vSAN 6.6.1, which was part of the vSphere 6.5 update 1 release. For those who don't know, the performance diagnostic solution is a new feature that will allow you to validate benchmarks and to see uh, if you could optimize the benchmark or potentially optimize your environment as well to ensure that you will be reaching your goals. This particular feature is a cloud connected feature. So all of the different rules and all of the different best practices are stored within our database. And that also means that in order for you to actually use this feature, you will need to enable the customer experience improvement program, which is part of the, uh, the web client or which is part of vSphere, I should probably say. Now, in this particular case, I have an eight node cluster and it's already been configured, but we still need to enable the performance service. So what we're going to do first is enable the performance service. As you can see, it's fairly easy to enable the performance service. That only takes two clicks. Uh, note that you can select the storage policy when you enable the performance service. Uh, the performance service is basically a, a, a database, or it's a, a feature that gathers data and stores data in a database. And the database is also stored on top of vCenter. So it's not stored in your vCenter uh, server database, but it's a database that's stored on top of vCenter. And that's why you can select a... Uh, a policy so in this particular case it's the default rate one policy that's applied so next what we're going to do is we're going to run a uh, benchmark in this particular case we use the proactive tests that are part of vSAN itself but you could for instance also use ATI bench which is probably what the majority of you guys will do they would really want to test performance of a uh, of a vSAN cluster so we're selecting the uh, storage performance tests and then we're going to select a particular workload. In our case, we're going to select 100% read, optimal read cache usage. So we're selecting that particular workload and then we're going to click OK and it will be running for about 10 minutes. Of course, we're not going to watch the progress bar go from 0 to 100. So I trimmed the video down. Also note that although it says it takes 10 minutes, it will take slightly longer because there's a prep part of this particular task as well. When this particular benchmark ends, what you will see happening is you will see a whole bunch of numbers uh, being uh, being shown in the uh, the web client itself. So you will see all of the different VMDKs that have been created on all of the different hosts in this particular cluster. So a large variety of uh, of different objects, and to, with each of these objects, you will also have performance numbers uh, included. So you will see things like, for instance, the throughput the number of IOPS, uh, the latency. But then the question always rises, what do I do with the data? And that's typically fairly challenging. Is the data accurate? Well, you would hope the data is accurate, but is it something, uh, did I reach my goals? And is there any way I could optimize my test? It's fairly difficult for people to, uh, to get a good understanding of how that, how that works and what they should be reaching or what they you know, shouldn't be expecting, what they may be expecting. So what we did is all of the knowledge that people had internally within our uh, performance team, they actually placed that knowledge in a uh, database. As I said, it's a cloud connected solution. So we're sending up data uh, to the VMware cloud when analyzing that data based on the benchmark goal that you select. So in this particular case, I select max IOPS because that's the, uh, the goal I had for this particular benchmark. And now what's going to happen is we'll be sending up the data uh, that those 10 minutes worth of performance uh, tests and then the results of that uh, particular uh, test are going to be displayed in this particular screen. So in this case, uh, what it tells me is that we have multiple disks which are not being used in this particular cluster, which means that if you would enable or make these disks part of the, uh, the vSAN data store, that potentially you could get a, a higher performance. So what I'm going to show you next is uh, what the outcome would be when I would, would have been testing for max throughput. So in this particular case, of course, it will show me again uh, that for this particular cluster, there's a couple of disks missing. But more interesting is it also shows me that, for instance, the size of the I.O. may impact the result of my particular tests. So in this case, it will show me all of the data, but still it's fairly difficult for me to understand what I should be doing. So I'm going to click Ask VMware. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to get a KB article uh, shown to me that explains to me what the impact is of some of the decisions, the decisions that I made 
before I started running these tests. So it explains to me that the I.O. size should align with the, the desired goal of my particular test. Not only does it show me you know, what the purpose is and what the cause is of some of the, the things that I'm seeing, but it also shows me how I can solve these by selecting, for instance, a, uh, a small I.O. size or by selecting a larger I.O. size. To me, this is something that I find very valuable, especially when you're not hands down uh, performance experts. Uh, you know, I hope it will be valuable for you as well. With that, we've reached the end of the demo and I hope you will tune in next time. Thanks for watching.